Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Technically T and today we're going to get into an unboxing that I've been waiting for for a very long time. Now, I do want to give a huge shout out, big shout out to everybody over at Cal Digit. I reached out to them this, I, and I explained to them what I was doing. I explained that I was doing my first desk setup and I was in desperate need of a Thunderport 3 dock. And this is what they sent me over, their brand new TS3 Plus for the MacBook or if you have an Ultrabook or anything like that. So any, any, any of you guys that have the new MacBook Pro, if you're running an Ultrabook where these new computers now only come with one or two ports, you know it's a big struggle when you do not have all of your ports, man. You know how much of a struggle it is and you guys do not want to be out there living the dongle life forever. So this is one solution that you definitely need to look at and that is a Thunderbolt station dock as you see I have here. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Now before we actually get into the unboxing portion, let's go ahead and flip it over and let me show you what it all includes. So as you see, dual Thunderport 3 ports, 85 watt laptop charging. Now that is key and is definitely something that you're not going to get from all your Amazon plug-in docks that bolts onto the side of your device. That's not going to charge your device for you. External 5K monitor up to 60 hertz or your dual extended 4K monitor up to 60 hertz. And that's exactly what I need with my new setup since I am running a 4K display at 60 hertz. You also get that SD card reader, which is super, super plus for us content creators. You get seven USB ports. Now that is a bunch of USB ports that you are getting back to your device. And as you can see, you have a Gen 1 and a Gen 2 USB 3.1 ports one 5G and then one at 10G USB-C ports and the USB-A port. So this is super, it's loaded with USB ports. You cannot get a better dot than this in my opinion. And it also comes out with digital optical audio in case you wanna hook up a sound system, your speaker, any external audio you wanna hook up to your system, you can also do that as well since it does come with a digital audio output. So let's go ahead and finally jump into the device. Like I said, I am super duper anxious to get this device over and review it for you guys. So, starting off from the beginning, we see we get a Cal Digit Thunderbolt 3 cable. Now, I'm not sure, I don't know much about Cal Digit, but one thing I do know about them, and one thing I've been reading, is they make excellent cables and they make an excellent USB uh, Thunderbolt 3 cable. So, I am looking forward to using that. So, we're definitely gonna need this, and this is basically what we're gonna need to plug in from the dock itself to my MacBook Pro. Next, we are basically looking at the power adapter cord. So this does have a pretty big power adapter because once again, it's pushing 85 watts of power to charge your MacBook. So here is the cord itself, and here is the actual power brick for the dock itself. So once again, like I said, 85 watts, you're pumping out a bunch of power, so you are gonna need a pretty big power brick. So here is the actual power brick for the dock itself, and that's how basically it's powered up. Now, here you get some rubber grips. So you can actually install these rubber grips and I believe you can install the dock either up or sideways. So they give you a few rubber grips so it doesn't slide across your desk. So that's a good addition right there. And now we're gonna get to the meat of it, what I've been waiting for. Let's throw that box to the side. And here is the actual dock itself. And this is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be, which is good because I think it'll work perfectly how my desk is set up and how, how I have my monitor and I want it to slide right under that monitor. So here it is guys, the Cal Digit look. I looked on their website and this is basically their design. Feels very solid. It is all metal, it is not plasticky at all and it really feels of high quality. So let's take a look around the device and actually see all the ports that we have on it. So up here, you get your Cal Digit branding as well. You get your LED power notification to let you know that it is powered on. Here you got your, mic, your SD reader right there. You have your microphone port where you can plug in some microphones. You also have a microphone input as well. You get a USB type C up to five gigabits per second and you get a USB-C as long as with that regular USB as well. Now flipping it over on the back, we have your ethernet port there. You have your power adapter right here. You have your optical port. You have your display port and that's basically how, I'll be, how I will be hooking up my monitor to the computer is via display port. 
to my Dell monitor, you have a USB type C up to 10 gigabits per second. And here are those four USB ports here. And then you get another USB type port here. And you also have your USB C where it says computer. And that is where we'll actually go from your computer to the dock. So enough talking about this. Let me go ahead and get it all hooked up and let you guys know what I'm running with my setup and then you can actually see how you can utilize it in your setup because I really think this is going to complete everything and really bring my desk setup together. So let me get everything hooked up and we'll be right back. Now after getting it all hooked up, you can see I have it actually sitting here under my MacBook riser. Now the only reason that it's sitting here is because the provided USB type C cable is too short for me to actually route it to put it under my monitor to make it a little cleaner. I'm gonna have to reach out to them to see if they make a longer cord because this short cord, I, even though it's cool tucked away right here, I still wanna be, you know, access it without actually bending down and try to stick things in it. I wanna actually put it on my desk under my monitor so it can actually be a part of the setup. But I do have it all hooked up and this is basically how I have it run. As you can see, I do have my 13 inch MacBook Pro hooked up to the dock via the provided USB type C cable. I have my Logitech Z200 speakers hooked up via 3.5 millimeter headset adapter in front of the Thunderbolt dock. I also have my Logitech C930E webcam hooked up via USB on the back of the dock. And of course, I have my Dell 4K monitor hooked up via DisplayPort to mini DisplayPort plugged into the Thunderbolt 3 dock itself. So if you are a new MacBook Pro owner or an Ultrabook owner who finds yourself lacking with your ports, definitely take a look at the CalDigit TS3 Plus. You will not be disappointed and this is the best Thunderbolt 3 dock out there in my opinion. Now right now, this product is priced at 250 bucks at the day of this video. You can go ahead and pre-order it. The regular price is 350 so go ahead and jump on it now. I'll drop the link below, but as always, Technically T, I'll get at you next time. Later.